Shalom, shalom, full and full, most all praises on and glory to you. How about Hashem? Yeah, we shy by Hashem Kakodash. Double on us, our apostles and other sacred men. So now, teachers and scientists, should be men and brethren in his work in truth and in sincerity. So, this is a quick on the go, right? Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 10. It says, Say ye unto, say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. So, brothers, this is a quick admonishment to continue pursuing oh, pressing towards the mark. You know, it's going to be good with the righteous, right? The ship just say what? It shall all will be well with the righteous. You know, um, those that do righteousness, they will be found righteous. All right, I put you into First John chapter 3. And um, verse 7, it says, Little children, let no man deceive you that he that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous, right? So doing the works, doing the videos, being... um constantly in communication with brothers exhorting rebu rebuking repenting right this is considered righteousness in the sight of our maker and this work is not going to go unnoticed he say what i'm not on un un ungrateful forget your labors are love all right let me see if i get that real quick you know these demons can be plaguing in your mind your thoughts right and um have you believed that this work is going on unseen on notice and of on um how there's no reward but there are promises laid up you know the ship just says that there's a crown laid up right there's a reward laid up right there's a, a reward laid up for us this is what we're fighting for right it is not made yet made manifest that we are the men but it is still you know because as the scripture also says is is when the lord is lifted up he is not seen yet he is seen you know, you know, these people don't understand who we be, who we may be. We may just be the elect of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? Um, and 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 with that comes a, a glory, a glory that's gonna come. The Lord say what He's gonna, in all the places where you have been put to shame, right? You shall be got, be given fame, right? Um, this is Hebrews chapter six, real quick, and verse boom, boom, boom verse 9 but beloved we are persuaded better things of you and the things that accompany salvation though we thus speak for power is not unrighteous to forget your work and your labor of love if you constantly are in this work in this labor watching reporting praying fasting exhorting rebuking right fellowshipping loving right you know you're doing all these uh, Philippians even say do all these things and he shall never fall off is that a fall or fail you know continue now in your well doing continue overcome you know this is an exhortation to overcome you know do these demons they, they, they bit, bit shut on a liar you know bit him a liar. I rebuke him the scripture say if he resists he shall flee alright for God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which he have showed towards his name Right, all this is in the glory as being the memorial of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Those priests that stood stiffly in his name, that stood in remembrance of all that is righteousness, right? Rebuking, um, resisting the, 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 the world, the lust of the flesh, the youthful lust. The scripture say what? Flee ye youthful lust, right? All this is in the world is the lust of the flesh and, the, and the, the lust of the eyes. This is what we flee, and this is what we rebuke, and this is what we fight against lust demonic entities spirits this whole world is full of them when you watch jake when you watch new social events you watch what societies are made of it's made up of, of, of abominable it's, a, it's an abominable culture it's an abominable way of life right this world is is an abomination you know this world is just it's just a, a topsy-turvy woman ruling over men children um oppressing babes Hey, these little monsters, you know, these little uh, monsters, these these menstruous women brought forth monsters, they out here, right? No, 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 um, no pity, no affection, no empathy, right? Uh, hey, hey, on top of that, who is the father of all these spirits, right? The, 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 the man that's pushing or emanating this energy in the planet Earth is Esau, right? It's Esau. So these are, so we fight and we literally fight against these the spirits that Esau, the energy, the vibration, and Esau puts out there, coming in the vibration of righteousness, love, charity, peace, loving one another, right? Considering, preferring one another. That these are these are the principles, right? Or the very first spirits of Yahweh Bashim Shai, right? Of righteousness, and these are the spirits that amongst the brotherhood we keep, right? But to the world, 
these are, these things are no offense. You know, you, you listen to the conversation. The ship just talk about uh, in Second Peter, just not vex with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Which the filthy conversation is, it, it, it goes into the manner of life, right? You sit down and you listen to the conversation. A football game might play, and you hear the men on the the, the, the two thirds and he then speak, and it's like, it's a it's adulterous talk. Who's gonna pop? Who wife? Who's gonna do what? What orgy? What? It, it's all these kind of different. Um, manner of wickedness on the job and um, who's gonna steal who's gonna rob right how we could extort how we could um, um, un- have an unbalanced scale you know you know it's all an unbalanced scale it's, it's unbalanced it's not it's not um, equitable it's not justice it's hey, justice do not fought right justice do not go forth you understand on this side but there's a kingdom that we are fighting for you know, and it's exhausting at times. It's, it really is exhausting. It's a spiritual battle, being being um, being trying to be um, righteous to the best of your ability without being over much righteous and dealing with these with these demonic forces and entities, the food, the air, the water, the vibration, the energy that is being emanated by Esau and Edom onto the uh, onto the body, onto the world. Right. This is what we this is what we resisting unto the end to overcome. Right. And the scripture say what. Behold, beloved, we are persuaded better things of you than the things that accompany salvation. Um, though we thus speak for power is not unrighteous. So forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shewed towards his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. Right? We do minister, we still minister, and, and we desire that every one of you show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. So there's an end. Right, and we are about to meet the end, and and the bird pings, the bird pangs, right? When a woman is um about to deliver, is when it, she gets the most amount of pain, right? That is in the delivery, the most amount of pain. She's gonna have pain and uncomfortableness through the nine months. But what, what hey, when it comes closer to the day of delivery, is when the most amount of pain comes. What is con? It, 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 it is um a little bit of relaxing and a little bit of contracting, right? Far but few in the beginning, and then what? Fast and harder coming down to the end, and this is what we're experiencing: the fast and harder. But we have to continue diligently towards the end, and this is how we keep your mind sound within the work, within the fellowship, within the brotherhood. The men of what like mind, right? These are the men who who could understand your pain, understand what you're going through. Whereas this world in their pride, they go about as one day is the same as the other. But we know that one day excels the other. And the day that we look into excel is the day of the fulfillment of all these prophecies. The day of judgment when Yahweh Shai comes and restores all order. Isaiah chapter 11 verse 4. But with righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove the equity with equity for the meek of the earth and he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth sat him with his prophets as his mouth his mouthpiece his voice he speak through the silver as the prophets and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked now the breath goes into what wisdom wisdom of solomon i think it's chapter five it speaks about the breath and the pureness that is the pure influence that goes through every creature right everything created on the earth has has a wisdom right it has a brilliance it has a understanding about it Right, but true, but the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, and this is how Esau has the vibration on the earth a wicked vibration, a vibration of hurt, pain, violence, and crime. Just as in Genesis 6, right, it says what Genesis 6 and 11, the earth was full with what violence and with, and, 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 and with, as a matter of fact, I'll get it real quick, right? Genesis chapter 6, verse 11, right, it says. And the earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth so lacking. Why did I put it up here? All right, Genesis chapter six and verse eleven. It says, "And the earth was corrupt." When you look up the word "corrupt," it's uh, shakat to destroy, to ruin, to be injured, to be ruined, to be rotted, to be perverted, right? To spoil, to disrupt, to pervert, to be spoiled, morally corrupt, right? Perverted, to perish, to waste. So the earth was corrupt. Right, and filled with violence, right? The um was corrupt and before God and the earth was filled with violence, right? Violence, wrong cruelty and injustice, violent dealings, right? This is just as it was then, is is so it is now, right? And the same judgment then 
it's gonna come now. All right? Starting with hey hey Yahweh Ba Shimei Shai's words, his voice, right? And then it's gonna come down to him executing that judgment, that penalty. This is Job 55 and Job 22, sorry, and 15 has thou marked the old way which wicked men have trodden, right? We're talking about back in the time of Genesis. Who is the wicked men? These nations. Hey, Esau was back then, but he was known as Esau, right? Whose foundation was overflown with a flood, right? So it goes back to the same Genesis 6, which said to the Most High, depart from us, what can the Almighty do for them? And this is the spirit of the world right now. The majority of these people walking up and down, they're not looking towards the power of heaven and the power of justice. They're looking to some idol, some deity for prosperity, right? But they don't look for end. They have those who are not looking for anything. That they should just say when all these things start to happen, look up for your, sal your salvation, right? Nine, your salvation is nearer than before, right? They, but they're not looking up. They're mocking. They have mockers and scoffers mocking you. You, you, you. Them, you. I hope you're not looking for um, a man to come down from the sky because he's gonna come. Right, that's why the Lord said, "Is there going to be faith when I when I come? Is there going to be faith? Right, because really and truly, these people don't have faith. They don't believe. Right, they're not looking for Yahweh Bashem Shai. But guess what? It didn't stop the judgment. The scripture says, Romans three three. What if some don't believe? Does it mean does it mean that the faith of the Lord shall be of none effect? God forbid. Let every man be a liar. Yahweh Bashem Shai be true. Right." Re Re Revelation 11 22 and 11 say what? Let the filthy remain filthy and the unjust remain unjust. Right? The, the ones who are unclean, the ones who not wash with the water of this word, this understanding, the fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. Let them remain in the lot. Every man is going to what? Receive their reward. Verse 12. Behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to render unto every man that which he had done. Right? Job 22 and verse 17, which said, from unto power depart from us what can the almighty do for them yet he filled their houses with good things so Esau has all the riches all the um he's he's on top he's on he's the head and we the tail Deuteronomy chapter 28 right he lends to us he lends to the world Esau and Edom the bankers right he the only bank is just given to the hands of the wicked the rasha the evil the criminal the guilty one right but the counsel of the wicked is far from me the right they don't understand that all their prosperity comes from Yahabashim Yahushai but guess what? Their heart and the and the device, the counsel, right? They um, they um, um, what's the word that the scripture uses? The scripture uses uh, the enterprise, right? The enterprise is not of your Shai. They're trying to take his seat. They're trying to be that power, that Almighty, but he they're not going to be. They can't and won't and ever get to that to be in the Almighty because the Almighty is who He is. Yahweh, He exists. He so is a creation. This creature worshiping the creation more than the than the Creator, right? So people, you know, two thirds he then they caught up in worshiping this Jesus, Jesus, or Jesus the Christ, right? Or Muhammad, right? As men. They worship these 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 men as idols, but guess what? Or Selassie or Buddha or whatever. But guess what? Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, he is one and he's above them all, and he's one in what knowledge and wisdom. He he is all things. Right? It says the righteous see it and are glad the innocent laugh them to scorn, whereas our substance is, is cut down, whereas our substance is not cut down, but the remnant of them, the fire consume it. Right? The missile is gonna deal with the remnant of Esau and Edom. Right, you sorry, sorry. Esau and Edom is gonna be rounded up. The Esau and Edom is gonna be rounded up. The elites of them are gonna build back the kingdom. They're gonna be the first batch of slaves. The first employment is gonna be um the first continual employment is gonna be to bury the dead. Then they're gonna to have to build the kingdom of Israel, and then they're gonna be rounded up and burnt. Right, acquaint now thyself with him, and be at peace. Thereby good shall come unto thee. Right, so good is gonna come onto what the righteous, right? So it's just a hold on, brothers. Continue to push. The good is gonna come onto us, right? Um, how the scripture in Psalms goes, it says, um, is 
this is Psalms 30 and 5. It says, For his anger endured but a moment. A motherfucker sat at verse 4. Psalms 30 and 4. It says, Sing unto Yahweh, O ye saints, which we are the saints, the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, the sanctified ones. Right? Psalms 149, I think in 19 and 20. It says, Sing unto Yahweh, O ye saints. Let me see if I get out real quick and I'll come back. You know, just to be proven. Psalms 149 and 9. Um, 9. Right, Psalms 149 and 1. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song and his praises in the congregation of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Right, so the, hey, who are the saints? Israel. Right, so we'll go back to um, Psalms 30 and verse 5. Real quick, get to the point. It says, For his anger endured but a moment. Right, the Lord was angry with us for a, for a moment. He said, His son, Yahushai, who, who brought us back into repentance, his forerunner before him was John the Baptist, his cousin, which is Abba Bebenson this time. Right, and then he sent his son, Yahushai, to be the propitiation of sin, shedding his blood, the remission of our sins towards the Heavenly Father. Right now, in this time, he does nothing strange through through his spirit. The Rakakadash, he speaks unto us. Hebrews one one, right? His anger enjoyed but a moment. In his favor is life. Right, all this is favor. All this this liberty is favor being shown unto the twelve tribes to what to repent. Weeping may endure for a night. Guess what? We repent, but we must endure because what Micah seven verse nine. I will bear the indignation of the Lord. Because I sinned against him, either nine or ten, Salakia. Yeah? It says, But what joy cometh in the morning, and in my prosperity I said, I shall never be moved. Right? We shall never be moved. We're gonna stand strong in your Hawa There is a reward, there's a crown to be given, to be issued in that day at the hands of Yahweh and that's the crown that matter. Right? The incorruptible crown. Going alongside with what the incorruptible bodies. Psalms 96 and 13. <clears throat> Before the Lord, for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth, he shall judge the world with the righteous with what righteousness and the people with his truth. Right? Yahweh shall, shall judge the world with righteousness. So guess what? They that do it righteousness is righteous. So Yahweh Shai is gonna judge the world with what with his elect. Right? He's gonna judge the world with his, his elect. This is wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5 he sh and 17. He shall take to him his jealousy for a complete armor and make the creature his weapon, the revenge of, of his enemies, right? So the creature, the thing created, the, the ones who have who are, who are been formed into the image of his son, right? They're going to be joint with Yahweh Shai. They're going to see him as he is because they're going to be as he is. And they are going to what reap justice and judgment upon these heathen predominantly Esau and Edom Jeremiah 50 and, and 20 in, sorry 51 and 20 it says thou art my battle axe and my weapon of war for with thee will I break in pieces the nations and with thee will I destroy kingdoms and with thee will I break the pe into pieces the horses the horse and his rider and with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider with thee will I with thee also will I break in pieces man and the woman, and with thee will I break in pieces old and young, and with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock, and with thee will I break in pieces the husband man and his yoke of oxen, and with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers, and I will render unto Babylon and all the inhabitants of Chaldea and all their evil, of all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight. Say the Lord of hosts or the Lord. Um, this is uh, this is gonna be in Daniel.
Daniel 7 and 18, it says, But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Right? So this right here is joy and hope, the hope of our recompense. Is, hey, revenge is the sweetest joy next to getting a, you know what, right? So with that, to Shalom to the elect, a bad bubble, a bad bubble, a bad bubble, um, Shalom, my what, la babal. Shalom to the elect.